We're back at Indo-Pacific Sea Farms taking the next step in our Nano Lagoon project. Nano Lagoon is the simple, inexpensive reef tank for newbies based on a 10-gallon glass aquarium. And we have been down to the pet shop to Petco since our last video, and we've picked up a box of Instant Ocean. This is the small size. It's the 10 gallon size, and I think it was about $10, and we're getting close to the point where we're going to add that Instant Ocean to the tank. See those clownfish? But before we do that, oh, quick review. We've been to Walmart. We've picked up the Aquatech 510, sorry, the 515 gallon power filter. That will be the filtration system for our Nano Lagoon. We've picked up this little stick-on digital thermometer. We bought some Krylon Blue Fusion, the Patriot Blue. See the cap? We bought some blue painter's tape. Uh, we've got some old newspapers here. We're going to use to mask off the glass tank. Let's see, West Hawaii today. Migration slowing down. Governor proposing budget cut. Today's forecast in January, 83 Kona, 30 Boston, 33 Seattle. That pretty much sums it up. We've got our 10 gallon blank. That's just the glass tank from All Glass Aquarium. We've taken our blue painter's tape. This is just masking tape. And we've very carefully masked off the edges of the back of the tank. No difference between the back and the front, but you just want to make sure that you get the, the tape itself on carefully first, stick it down so none of the spray gets behind that, and then you add some newspaper, a little more tape, use short little pieces of tape first just to uh, tack on the newspaper uh, on the three sides and then some longer pieces to just make it nice and smooth. Now, know what I've done here. It's not the neatest um, masking job, but that doesn't matter. This is actually the bottom of the tank. What I've done here is turn the tank over. This is the open top. I'm looking into that now, and I've got that facing down. And the reason is when I do the painting back and forth with my Krylon Blue, I don't want any of the um, aerosol paint to get into the tank itself because it might stick to the sides and obscure the view. Essentially we want to do just this one panel. This will be the back of the aquarium with Krylon Blue. And I'm not going to actually spray it because again I don't want the aerosol to get on the lens of this video camera but you know you shake it up as you normally would with spray paint. And what you're going to do is hold the can as I'm doing now, it's about six or eight inches from the surface, and spray back and forth, long sweeping motions actually extend beyond the edge of the tank every time you make a pass, top to bottom, and the whole key to doing this properly is don't get it too close and don't add too much spray paint in one spot on the panel because then it will collect and run, and you don't want it to run. It's better to start off farther away until you get the hang of it, and you're going to have to make many, many passes back and forth. 20, 30, 40 passes. A lot of passes, and in the end you'll have what amounts to several coats. Three, four, five, six coats, and you can even let it dry a little bit between coats. You have to be patient when you're doing this, but the whole job, I mean, won't take more than 10 or 15 minutes, including the uh, the work with the newspaper. So it's a very easy step and we'll leave it to you to figure out how to do that. If the worst happens and it it runs, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it just looks better if it's a nice smooth uniform painted surface when you finish. And what you can also do is uh, if you're not sure if it's working you can turn the tank around like this and sort of look in and see if there's any light spots showing through your painted panel and that will tell you that you need more paint. And I think we've just about covered that topic about as much as we need to. 
So go ahead and assuming you have the components, go ahead and paint the back of your tank and let it uh, dry overnight. And the next step after that is putting in the sand bed and assembling the reef structure. Once those are in, we can get back to our instant ocean. We can mix up our instant ocean and add the seawater to the tank.